Sorry, the light's probably appalling. I just wanted to jump on and say something. I don't know if you'll agree with me or not. I'm not going to say who the blogger is. Because if I do, it's going to look like I'm calling her. And it is actually um, a blog that I enjoy most of the time. And it's one of the ones that inspired me in the beginning. So I'm not, you know, I'm not calling her at all. But she did this post... Uh, well, she shares a lot of things like, you know, 10 things to say instead of be careful and 10 things you should say instead of um, why are you upset or 10 things to say instead of how was your day. And I normally scroll past it because they annoy me because <laughs> I just think life and parenting is hard enough as it is without having to constantly censor and edit what you say. You know, saying be caref careful or how was your day, isn't going to harm your kid um, but anyway sorry I keep moving camera she uh, she put on something about um, stop saying, stop asking if my baby's a good baby and I haven't read it to be fair but I could guess what was in it and I was ignoring it because I'm not normally the sort to say things normally I just scroll past things I don't agree with because I'm not I'm not a troll um, but it just kept coming up and kept coming up and kept coming up and then I read the comments and people are being all arsy like there's no such thing as good and bad babies and I always tell people off when they ask me if my baby's a good baby and stuff like that and I didn't put out rude, I just put and it come up as home educating the mad lads, it wouldn't even come up as a personal thing I just said there's too much picking apart what people say and I weren't directing that here, I meant in general I says, you know full well what somebody means when they say, is it a good baby? Is your baby a good baby? They're not being offensive. Um, sometimes it's just unfortunate phrasing. And I know full well I'm going to get jumped on for saying that, accused of being a troll and people are disagreeing with me and stuff. But I just think there's too much picking apart what people say and causing people to self censor all the time. Uh, you, if somebody asks, they're not saying there's good babies and bad babies. If somebody says, is is it a good baby? What they're really asking is, is it, it um, what they're really asking is, are you coping all right? Is everything running smoothly? Are you handling it well? Is it easy going for you? It's a question that means a lot of other things and it's a question that comes out of caring and wondering how you are it's not a they that's a good baby that's a bad baby this this uh, how about instead of setting the example to our kids that we're going to be offended by everything and picking everything every single single little phrase apart apart from you know obviously apart from racism abuse prejudice um judgmental things obviously they need stamping on but if if it's just unfortunate phrasing or someone clearly being kind but they didn't mean what you think where well, you could easily twist it to mean how about a bit of empathy <laughs> some of these comments i mean clearly like say an old lady comes up to you and went oh is she a good baby and then you turn around and go there's no such thing as good and bad babies how dare you say that to me they didn't mean it like that, they'd be nice. Anyway, sorry, I just wanted to rant about it. You don't have to agree with me, but I just think there's far too much picking apart what people say and taking everything as bad. How about we believe that people are at, most people are good and they're just showing an interest? You know, and not everybody is, not everybody's read the book on what's offensive lately and what's not offensive lately. Like I say, I don't, I don't mean serious things like prejudice and racism here. I just mean when you twist things like that, it just bugs me. This is, this is what's creating this world where people don't say what they think, and they don't, they don't talk to each other in case they're causing offence. 